Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. This idea had flourished in America in the depression of the 1930s. President Roosevelt, faced with the chaos caused by the Wall Street crash, encouraged Americans to join together in trades unions, to set up consumer groups, and to pay for a welfare system for those trapped in poverty. His aim was to create a collective awareness which would become a powerful weapon against the unfettered power of capitalism which had caused the crisis. That idea had driven the Democratic Party for 50 years. But now, Roosevelt's inheritors railed vainly against the effects of the self-interest encouraged by President Reagan. There is despair, Mr. President, in the faces that you don't see. Maybe, Mr. President, if you stopped in at a shelter in Chicago and spoke to the homeless there, Maybe, Mr. President, if you asked a woman who had been denied the help she needed to feed her children because you said you needed the money for a tax break for a millionaire or for a missile we couldn't afford to use. The worst thing Ronald Reagan did was to make the denial of compassion respectable. He said, you've worked hard, you've made your money, you shouldn't have to uh, feel guilty about refusing to throw it away on people who choose to be homeless and who choose not to work. That's what he said. He said it with an elegance and a kind of benign aspect that disguised its harshness. 